Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Christina if you're new here. I am the blogger behind Life and Style Blog Cuddle Pill. So if you haven't checked out my blog or Instagram yet, be sure to do that. I'll link to everything below. So for those of you that have been following along, have watched some of my other videos, you know that I was out of town the last couple weeks. I got back, well, not really the last couple weeks, but I was out of town earlier in August for two weeks and I was in Europe. I was in Greece and Italy. So I spent a week in Greece, a week in Italy. And this video is all about all the stuff I bought while I was there because I shopped a lot, let's be honest. So I'll be going through all of the goodies that I bought on my trip. So if you're interested in finding out what I got, keep watching. Where to begin? Oh my God, I'm so excited to share this stuff with you guys. I don't even know where to start. Let's start with, so, well, to break things up for you, so basically what I got there was a lot of jewelry, a lot of purses, and for some reason, a lot of skirts. Like, I just realized, I'm like, I got four skirts while I was there. What was I doing? But they're really cute. And then I also got shoes. So let's start with the jewelry. Okay, one of the things I picked up while I was in Greece, because I have this thing for beaded bracelets this summer, and I fell in love with these. When I found them in Greece, they're so freaking cute. They were six euros, you guys, such a steal. So these are just like beaded bracelets. They're a little stretchy. They have like a really beautiful uh, wood detailing on the end. So the clasp is really, really pretty. And they look so much more expensive than they actually are, which is always a plus. And the other great thing about them is that you can twist, so you can cut it in half and sort of twist one side of it. And then you get like a, it basically looks like a different bracelet. So you get like two twisted bands instead of just a bunch of strings. So really, really cool. I got it in orange and white. Both of the colors I love and perfect for summer. I've been wearing these. Honestly, they're such a cute accessory to wear at the pool or at the beach. And if you follow me on Instagram throughout my trip, I wore it in one of my beach pictures. It's just like such a fun accessory to pair with a bathing suit and some like, you know, vintage Levi's shorts or like a pretty sarong. Seriously, whatever, they're so cute. You can wear them with a ton of things. And I might even be bringing in the orange one into fall because I totally think that this can work with some of the pieces that I have in my fall wardrobe so far. The other jewelry item I bought, I'm actually wearing right now. If you can see this really cool ring here, this is actually from the Athens flea market. It was, I think it was like 20 euros. I just love how big it is. And also another plus is that it looks more expensive than it is. So it's kind of interesting here because it has a clasp here that you can adjust. So you can adjust it to fit the size of your finger. I prefer to wear it on my ring finger just because I feel like it looks really cool there. Um, so yeah, I've been rocking this. As you could see, I wear gold jewelry a lot. So I've been rocking this quite often and I'm really living it so far. By the way, so since all of these products I bought abroad, it will be very tough to find the exact same thing online. So I'm gonna do my best to find similar items that you guys can shop if you like what I'm showing you. So I will link to all of that stuff below. I'll do my best, I promise, to find the closest things that I can to what I'm showing you today. So that's that for the jewelry that I bought. So not a crazy amount of jewelry, but the next category is purses. And I bought four purses while I was in Italy. <laughs> I guess it's just because I, I don't buy purses that often. And, you know, purses are an investment. So I usually like wait a, wait a while, do some research and really put some thought into it before I make a purchase. But as you know, Italy is like the leather capital, like Florence has the best leather. The quality is amazing. It's soft. It's just really beautiful. And I love the colors that they, that they do their purses in. And they're just so cheap compared to what we pay here in the States for, for a leather bag. So I ended up getting four. <laughs> but they're awesome. This one is one of my favorites. It's just stunning. It's this beautiful gold bag with a really thick, it's almost like a camera strip. It's just so, so stunning. The leather is just incredibly soft. I love the detailing here. I think it looks really beautiful. It's like a shiny black hardware. 
I love that the hardware here is also kind of like a pewter color. It's really gorgeous. And when you open it up, I have a lot of stuff in here now. Ignore, ignore the receipts and all my, uh, my battery pack, but look how much space there's in there and it makes it so easy to find things. And it's just a great accessory going into fall. I'm all about metallics and that's a huge trend coming up this season. So I'm very much looking forward to pairing this with like my combat boots and just, you know, really simple outfits. This can definitely take any outfit to the next level just because it's like a pop of metallic, beautiful metallic gold. Um, so yeah, I really, really love this one. This one I actually picked up in Venice. Actually all the bags except for one I picked up in Venice just because for some odd reason, the leather in Venice was cheaper than Florence, even though it, was, it all comes from Florence. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe because people associate Florence with being the leather capital that they increase the prices. But in Venice, the leather was half the price. So tip, if you're ever traveling to Italy and you're hitting up Florence in Venice, wait in Venice or wait to buy leather stuff in Venice. So good tip. This bag was, I wanna say it was like 40 euro. Isn't that insane? For a beautiful Italian leather bag in gold metallic. Steel, such a steel. So that's one of them. Love, love, love this one. The next bag I bought is this beautiful, it's more of a structured bag. It's a total knockoff. If you guys know the boy bag, not the Chanel boy bag, there's a brand called Boy, B-O-Y-Y and they do these like beautiful buckle bags and I'll link to it too if you wanna check them out. Um, so I really love this maroon color. It has like a beautiful suede siding, which is a really nice detail. I love the structure of it. The buckle is really, really beautiful and the inside is also really nice and it comes with a shoulder strap. So you can essentially attach the strap, there's two little hooks on the side of the two handles, and you can wear it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag as well. I think I'm gonna end up wearing this mostly as a handbag, but it's nice to have the option to wear it as a shoulder bag as well, just because, you know, when you're like running errands, grocery shopping, and you, you don't have, you need your hands to do other stuff, um, it's nice to have the option to wear a bag as a shoulder bag. So really, really love this bag. I think it's a beautiful color and I can't wait to wear this in the fall with, it pretty much matches with everything. That's what's so great about burgundy. Um, and I'll probably even be rocking it now, like heading into, while well, we're in this transitional period, heading into the fall. It's just an awesome color, beautiful bag. And I don't have any structured bags like this. So I'm very, very excited to rock it. So that's bag number two. We have two more bags. Um, no, wait. Wait, did I get another one? Okay, so that's bag number two. I have one more to show you guys, also from Italy. So this, I, I was on the hunt for like a larger black bag that I could wear into the fall. I've had this crossbody bag that I've been wearing for the summer. It's like a really beautiful, like woven, um, woven material. It's like a flat purse. So I've been rocking that this summer a ton, but I was on the hunt for a bag that I could bring into fall and winter and sort of wear all year round. So I found this beautiful bag in Rome and it's just like such a stunning leather. It's like this beautiful black pebbled leather. It's super soft and it's just so well made. I love it. I thought it was really unique. Like I love the handles. I love that it folds in on the sides like this and it gives it like a really beautiful shape. And it also comes with a million options on how to wear it. So it comes with a shoulder strap. So the shoulder strap attaches to these two hooks that you see here on the side. So you can also wear it as a crossbody. And what the cool thing is, is when you attach the two hooks, you kind of fold out those two corners that are bent in when you wear it as a handbag and it flaps over. So basically it turns into like a completely different purse. So it's really, really cool that way. And I love wearing it as a crossbody. What I'll probably do is really tighten the strap so that the purse is high up and I can wear it. I'd probably wear it like across my chest just because it's so cool. So that's one way to wear it. 
And then it also comes with this cute little, isn't this insane that it came with another purse essentially, which, which is what's awesome about this is because the bag is so big, it's really deep and sometimes it's hard to find stuff. So what I've been doing is putting all my essentials in this little clutch in here and throwing this in the bag. So when I know I need like my wallet or my keys or whatever, the essential things that I usually grab for, I throw them in this little pouch. So I just pull this pouch out and I know where everything is. And the great thing about this pouch is that it's basically another purse. So if you can attach, you can basically attach the strap that comes along with the bag to this little guy. And if you just need like a little pouch while you're running around and you don't want to carry a larger bag, it's another purse. So I basically feel like I got four purses in one with this purchase. So this one was from Rome from this shop in the neighborhood we were staying in. It's called Monti. Such a, such a cute neighborhood. And I will be sharing my Rome travel guide up on the blog this week. So I will include like all the shops in Monti that are adorable and in general in Rome where we ended up going shopping. But this was a purchase from a neighborhood shop in Monty that had just like really beautiful leather pieces and like really cute clothes and all that good stuff. So I actually picked this up the last day in Rome while we were, while we were roaming around uh, the neighborhood waiting for the train. I was like last couple hours of shopping in Rome and I found this purse. It was such a lucky find. So love, love, love it. So, so cool. And you've probably already seen me wearing it if you follow me on Insta. So that was a great purchase as well. And I think this one was a little bit more expensive than the other two that I bought in Venice. Again, Venice leather was crazy cheap for some reason. This also made in Florence, but purchased in Rome, it was 70 euro, I believe. So also a pretty good deal for a beautiful black leather bag. Okay, so that's it for the purses. We got three purses, more than enough to carry me through the season. I'll probably buy more in the next couple weeks, but good starting point for the fall. The next category is shoes, my favorite. So I bought two pairs of shoes on my trip. Again, the leather in Europe is just amazing and so affordable. So every time I go every summer, I always end up coming home with new sandals, uh, new loafers, whatever. So that's exactly what I purchased this time around. So the first pair of shoes are a pair of sandals that I purchased in Greece and they're by Vagabond Shoes. And I believe this is actually a Scandinavian brand. I can't remember where from exactly, but I ended up picking these up at Attica, which is the big department store in Greece. They had amazing summer sales going on at the time that I was there. So these were marked half off and I loved the toe ring and the pretty ankle strap and the heel was just perfect. It's like an inch, inch and a quarter. So it makes it easy to wear them for every day. They're incredibly comfortable. I could walk like two miles in these sandals, which is awesome. If you saw my Instagram, I was wearing them pretty much throughout my entire trip after I bought them. I bought them like day one of being in Athens. So it was nice to have new sandals to wear the two weeks I was in Europe. I tried to find them online to link to them. I'm having trouble, but I will find a pair, if not the same ones, similar ones that you guys can shop. And the second pair of shoes that I bought were in Florence. So these ones I ended up purchasing as we were running out of the Academia Gallery after we saw David and there was this like cute leather shop right across the street from the museum. And I found these beautiful black patent loafers and I just love the little ruffle that they have on them. They're just so unique and so fun and out there, but at the same time, they're pretty much timeless and they'll never go out of style. So I love these and they're so comfortable. I'm wearing them with, um, what I plan on wearing them with is just like the little um, sockies that cut off. So you don't, they're basically like the no-show socks. So I'll be wearing them with that and I can't wait to rock them with crop jeans. Um, I can even wear them with skirts or dresses. They're just so, so stunning. And I mean, patent leather, I mean, it'll never go out of style. It's amazing. Those are the two shoes that I bought. And next up, we'll get into the insane amount of skirts that I purchased, like not even knowing that I was buying all these skirts. I just kept gravitating towards skirts for some reason. So the first couple skirts I purchased in Rome and my brother and I were walking back from the Trusted Bear neighborhood and right on the river, they had a, like a little market where they had all these local 
vendors and like food and all that good stuff. They had live music. And we kind of went for a stroll along the river where all the shops were. And I found this little shop where it's this cute Italian girl uh, goes to India and she works with um, seamstresses there. And she makes these beautiful silk, Indian silk skirts that are reversible and they're wrap skirts. So I ended up buying two of them just because they were so, so stunning and also such a steal. So the first one has this like very pretty, how beautiful this is. So the first one has this like very beautiful floral print on the outside. It's, it's like fuchsia pink and green and a little bit of blue. So beautiful. And on the inside, it's this, it's a different fabric that looks more often. It's like very traditional Indian, I think. Um, and it has like maroon and like a beautiful burnt orange and a yellow and like a turquoise. And it's just like so stunning how the two patterns go so well together. And when you wear it as a wrap skirt, you can see um, the other fabric peeking through on the bottom, which I loved about it. So, so unique. And the fact that you're getting two skirts in one is just amazing. And the silk is just such nice quality. And I love, love, love how they fit. So I got two of them. And the second one is a beautiful green color. I loved this color. So this one, I wasn't, I don't love it as much as the other just because of how it fits. It's a little bit stiffer of a silk fabric. So it's not as flowy, but still beautiful in its own way. So I loved the color of this. It's like a bright green with a really beautiful floral print. And on the other side, it's like a simple green and beige. It's like a forest green and beige print. That's also beautiful. So loved these two fabrics as well. And the great thing about these skirts is that though sure they're summer skirts, I will definitely be bringing them into the fall because I, I think they'll look really cute with like a chunky sweater over with some combat boots or some like dad sneakers. I think they will look so, so adorable paired with some fall, fall gear. So I can't wait to bring them into the fall. And I'll also be wearing them obviously in the next few weeks as well. So you'll probably see me posting in these soon. Whew. Okay, two more skirts to go. So those are the two skirts I picked up in Italy. And the other two were actually grease purchases. The first one being this really cute striped skirt. It's like total 90s vibes here. It's like bold stripes with hot pink and white and a bright blue and some mustard yellow and black. I thought it was so fun and I tend to look really good in skirts like this that are high-waisted and form-fitting and maxi. So I ended up pulling the trigger on this. It's from a Greek store that I really, really love actually. It's called Funky Buddha, such a cute name. And I actually find myself buying something from the store every time I go to Greece. So this was my purchase this year. Uh, this is also pretty summery, but also something that I could be wearing going into the fall with some combat boots, or like I said earlier with the other skirts, some dad, like some chunky white sneakers. Um, I could even maybe wear it with the loafers that I bought. And it will also look super cute with like an oversized sweater, a jean jacket, like the one that I have on right now. Um, just so many options with this, a white t-shirt, a crop top. Um, I could wear it with like a puff sleeve shirt. So many options with how to wear this skirt and also something that I can wear into October, which is why I purchased it. One of my things going into my shopping or going into my trip with my shopping strategy was no more summer stuff. And of course I ended up buying summer stuff too, just because it was so cheap and I had to. So at least I could bring in some of the summer stuff I bought into the fall, which was the whole goal in the end. So the other skirt that I ended up getting was from another store that I always shop when I'm in Greece. It's called Atretivo and they have a line at Atretivo. It's called Ale or Ale. I'm not really sure how they say it, but it's A-L-E. And it's, and that brand is like a little bit more avant-garde, like funky prints, shapes, patterns. So they have great stuff. I have a ton of dresses from there that I love. And this year, uh, actually Leo ended up bringing this back for me while he, cause he was in Greece a little bit longer than I was. And he knew I was on the hunt for like a floral skirt and he brought this beautiful skirt from Ale back. It's such a stunning pattern. I love the colors. It's like a faded black with like 
a really beautiful, actually like fall vibes. I'm getting fall vibes with the floral print here. It's like maroon and like a, a pretty mauve and like a rosy pink and some browns, really beautiful. And at the waist, it has a little tie, so it wraps at the waist, which is a really nice detail. And the bottom of it is also really cool because just in general, the fabric flows beautifully. It's kind of like a heavier cotton, so it falls really nicely. And at the bottom, it's asymmetrical and it has a very unique cut. So I think it makes it really special and unique. And this is another skirt that I'll definitely be wearing into the fall, just because I think the floral can definitely be transformed into a fall floral. And I think this will just look really beautiful with like a button down blouse or a blazer even uh, with some ankle boots, maybe some white ankle boots once I get a, get a nice pair. So I'll definitely be bringing this into the fall as well. And just apparently I'm really into skirts this season. <laughs> Whew, that was a lot of stuff, wasn't it? I thought it was. And bringing it all together, I was like, damn, I kind of bought a lot of stuff on my trip, but all good stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you had some fun in seeing some of the stuff I brought back home. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Drop me a comment and tell me how you feel about the stuff that I bought. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.